Hi there. Thanks for tuning in. My name is Julie Mendez with MVB Bank, member FDIC, trusted partners on the financial frontier, committed to your success. We are happy to bring this story to you today as a socially distanced on-demand recording due to the COVID-19 pandemic. We look forward to reading live and in person soon. Today, I will be reading Isabel's Car Wash, written by Sheila Blair and illustrated by Judy Stead, and recommended by FDIC Money Smart. We will be talking about making decisions, setting goals, goals like what do we want to use our money for, what do we want to purchase, solving problems, figuring out how to get our goals that we've set and follow through, putting our plan into action. And here we go. Isabel De Niro wanted a Nelly long hair doll more than anything in the world. Nelly was on sale at Murphy's Toys for $10. Isabel only had 50 cents. She needed to earn some more money, but how? She wasn't old enough to babysit. She didn't even know how to change a dirty diaper. Yuck. She couldn't mow lawns. She wasn't strong enough to push the mower. She thought about walking the neighbor's dog, but he was too big. He would walk her. What could she do? Isabel thought and thought about how to earn some extra money. Walking home from school the next day, she thought about it so hard that Splat! She marched into a big puddle. The water came from a nearby car wash. There were lots of cars lined up there. The weather had been terrible and everyone's car was grimy. So many people wanting to wash their cars, Isabel said to herself. Suddenly, she had a great idea. She could open up a car wash at her house. She'd helped her brother Miguel wash his car in the driveway lots of times. All she needed was the special car washing soap her brother used and those fancy towels he called chamois to dry the cars off. Isabel headed right to the hardware store to buy the soap and chamois. She put her two quarters on the counter. But when the man rang up the bill, it was five dollars. How could she get five dollars? Isabel remembered that once five friends had each given her a quarter when she lost her school lunch money. Her mom gave her five quarters to pay them back and another five dimes for a little extra each. Isabel's friends were really happy to get the extra money. Maybe those same five friends would each give her a dollar to join her in starting her car wash. In return, she'd share some of the money she made. Isabel just knew she could make enough money to buy Nellie and pay her friends back, plus a little more. Isabel's parents said okay to her plan, so the next day she asked each of her friends for a dollar. Her friends weren't sure they wanted to give up their money. They had things they wanted to buy, like comics, ice cream, and go fish cards. If you give me your dollars, Isabel told them, I think I can pay you back, plus more. Do you know how to wash cars? asked Mary Kay. Yes, I've helped my brother lots of times, answered Isabel. What if no one comes to your car wash? asked Tyler. But they will, said Isabel. With all the rain we've had, everyone's car is muddy. How will you divide the money you make? asked Raj. Isabel thought for a moment. I will keep half and split the other half with you. Why should you get more? asked Natalie. Because it's my idea and I will do all of the work, answered Isabel. But if not enough people come to your car wash, we could lose our money, said Lynn. That is a risk, said Isabel, but a car wash is a good idea and I'll work very hard. Her friends looked at each other. We know you'll work hard, said Mary Kay. So we'll take the risk, said Tyler. But we sure hope you know what you're doing, said Natalie. Everyone gave Isabel one dollar. Now she had five dollars. 
Isabel took the $5 to the hardware store and bought the special soap and chamois. The next morning, she got up at sunrise and made a big sign that said, Isabel's car wash, $1. She nailed it to the oak tree in the front yard. Isabel hooked up the garden hose. She got some clean rags in a bucket out of the garage. She mixed the special soap with water and broke open the package of chamois. Isabel's car wash was ready for business. Isabel's stomach was in a knot as she waited for her first customer. Finally, at 9.30, Mrs. Pristine from across the street drove up. One dollar for a car wash, she squealed. Such a bargain. Isabel scrubbed Mrs. Pristine's car sparkling clean and earned her first dollar. She did such a good job that Mrs. Pristine called up her friends and told them about the car wash. Then they told their friends and the news spread. Lots of people came to Isabel's car wash. Such a bargain, everyone said. The cars kept coming and coming. Isabel worked and worked. Her fingers got red and puckered like raisins. Her sneakers got soggy and rubbed blisters on her heels. Isabel washed five station wagons, two minivans, three punch buggies, three convertibles with the tops up, one pickup truck, one golf cart, two pedal cars, one go-kart, and a dog. Little Joey from next door brought over his dog. Should have charged two dollars, Isabel muttered. She finished just before dinner time. She counted up her money and found that she had 20 crisp one dollar bills. She was pooped. The next day, Isabel invited her five friends over. Just as she'd promised, she paid them half of the money she'd made and kept the other half for herself. Half of $20 came to $10 or $2 for each friend. I doubled your money, Isabel said proudly. Her friends were all happy. Isabel was happy too. She had $10 left over to buy Nellie long hair. She put her $10 into her purse and set off for Murphy's Toys. When she reached the checkout counter, the lady said, $10.50, please. But your sign says Nellie Longhair costs $10, Isabel cried out in surprise. There is a sales tax, the lady said. Isabel couldn't believe it. After all that work, she still needed 50 more cents to buy Nellie Longhair. Then she remembered the 50 cents she had started with. She searched around in the bottom of her purse and found it. Isabel paid the lady exactly $10.50 and happily carried Nellie home. So what did we just learn? Isabel needed money to start the business. She went to her friends for help. She convinced them to give up their dollars and delay buying things that they wanted she said that if they gave up their dollars to help her start her business, that they might make more money later. Big businesses do something like that when they need money. They'll ask people called investors to give them money to help with their businesses for the chance of making more money later if their businesses succeed. Sometimes they do this by dividing up their businesses into little pieces and selling some of those pieces to raise money, and those pieces are called shares of stock. Let's use Isabel's car wash to show how this works. Imagine that Isabel divides her business into 10 pieces. She sells five of those pieces to her friends for $1 each and keeps five for herself. Her friends now own half of the business and she owns half. Because her friends own half of the business, she shares half of the $20 she makes by paying them $2 each. This $2 is called a dividend. What if Isabel wanted to keep her car wash going? She could pay her friends $1 instead of 2 and keep the rest to buy more chamois and soap. Well, let's say she runs her car wash like this all summer and keeps paying her friends dividends so they make several dollars more. As Isabel's business makes more money, it becomes more valuable and so do the kids' shares. 
seeing how much money Isabel friends are making, other kids in the neighborhood might want to buy those shares from them. They would probably be willing to pay a lot more than the dollar Isabel's friends paid. A big business can divide itself up into millions of shares and sell them off for billions of dollars. After it divides itself up and sells the shares, people keep buying and selling the shares among themselves. If a business is successful and makes lots of money, people want to buy its shares and the price of the shares will go up. If a business isn't successful, not many people will want to buy the shares, so the price will go down. That's just a little bit of information to kind of teach you how businesses work and how they can make money. So maybe now you can start your own little business with your friends and make a little bit of money for yourself. Thank you so much for listening. Have a good day.